You're listening to DraftKings Network. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Ever combine an ice cold frozen Coke with piping hot fries? Try frozen drinks any size for $1.49. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I am so tempted here because I don't want to actually not give people the conclusion to this show they desire, which is me answering Greg Cody's question and risking being aggregated here by answering his question. I want to do that. I do. But I don't feel good about doing it not in costume. How does the group feel about holding me to, I have to, I have a punishment yet to pay, mm. holding me to, I will get to Greg Cody's commentary tomorrow as soon wow. as the show starts, but it's to be in costume to see if indeed I can get in trouble that way as opposed to right now and just wasting one of these. I don't want to avoid it, though. If you guys think what that's... What an co- odd excuse. It you, seems yeah, like you yeah. kind of do want to avoid it. I'll, I'll, I'll we do need it. to get this costume thing. Yeah. Like, Reined in because this is ridiculous. You want me to ask you to do this in costume? He doesn't want to do it. You don't though. want. You don't yeah. want me. To- <sighs> You'd really be twisting his arm. By Mike, a little thing this. I like to call yeah. buying himself time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He yeah. just wants to wear a costume badly. I will do it now if you guys want me to do it now. That's fine. No. I really. I, I, I no. think Greg should. I think it should be Greg's decision and Greg's decision alone. I do. Before, why? Because he had a take. Uh, I mean, you turn. <laughs> Give it, uh, give it some thought here, and I will get to this other story before I get to that one. Uh, because uh, Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker, he has bashed Pride Month. He has told women to stay in the kitchen, according to a headline I'm reading here, an article by Doug Farrar. He was doing a commencement speech at Benedictine, Benedictine College uh, in Kansas, and mm. he called uh, Joe Biden delusional and is talking about... Uh, abortion in a way that is very religious. Oh, you guys have the sound here. Okay, I was just going to read the quotes, but you guys have the sound. So go ahead. Uh, this is I'm we being have in- some sound. I'm being introduced to the thoughts of Harrison Butker here in his own voice. Let's hear it. To the gentleman here today, part of what plagues our society is this lie that has been told to you that men are not necessary in the home or in our communities. As men, we set the tone of the culture. And when that is absent, disorder, dysfunction, and chaos set in. This absence of men in the home is what plays a large role in the violence we see all around the nation. Be unapologetic in your masculinity, fighting against the cultural emasculation of men. Okay, wow, that's not even in the quotes that I'm reading here. Uh, I think it is you, quote, uh, this is a quote here from... Harrison Butker, I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say her life truly started when she started living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today, able to be the man that I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. The world around us says that we should keep our beliefs to ourselves whenever they go against the tyranny of diversity, equity, and inclusion. The tyranny of diversity, equity, and inclusion. We fear speaking truth because now, unfortunately, truth is in the minority. Not the deadly sins. Uh, He went on to take a shot at Pride Month. Not the deadly sins sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him. And I will just tell you again and again that uh, there is a lot of hatred tucked into the pages of the Bible and espoused as religion. And I know that this is where the division lies in our country. This man is speaking at a college, and I don't know if it's half the country, but a lot of the country agrees with what he says, 
finds him to be a freedom fighter, and then the next thing you know, a woman loses the rights to her body because the man is in charge and the man has always been in charge, and then it gets tucked into the pages of the Bible, however it is you rationalize and moralize away, taking away the rights from others to their own body in the name of serving the man and saying it's to serve God. And I know a lot of people agree with the kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs thinking that he is doing something brave here by saying it is the man who must be served so then the union could serve God. I was raised in that church. My mother allowed, helped so many women bring life into this world that they were going to abort. My mother worked in an anti-abortion clinic this is the place, I shouldn't call it an anti-abortion clinic, I should go, I should say it is a religious entity that was servicing the needs of finding money wherever they could so that women could have babies that might not have babies because of poverty or an assortment of issues. You know, after hearing you talk about it, we've caucused, you should have done this in costume. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You should have. So if we're kicking the can on the Greg Doyle conversation, uh, exhibit A, you doing this without a costume? I'm saying bring on the costumes. Yeah. So you think I should do this over tomorrow? Well, just do it again. Uh, just do, do it the, over. Just yeah. do the whole yeah. thing yeah. again. Yeah. Just yeah. do it again. Well, that yeah. is doing it over. Well, we got this it? one. I know. Yeah. 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 Maybe the next right. one. Mm -hmm. So a worm was eating his brain? It was dead, I think. Uh, we've got three. But did it die after it ate some of his brain? Mm. Unclear. We've got three presidential candidates with brain damage. Three different forms. Uh, one, uh, a dementia. Allegedly. One is a, a dead brain worm, uh, and the other one is whatever the hell is going on with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Things seem to be going great. Costumes. Go boat. Costumes would make everything better. But the schedule is out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till the tomorrow. Knicks play a big game tonight. Yeah. Incidentally, yeah. I don't uh, agree with what Harrison Butker said. Same. For the record, Greg. Uh, yes. Well, we're an echo chamber. I think from my dad say yes. He said yes, like he was supporting. No, I don't agree. It, it, <laughs> can't tell with you anymore. Yes, I don't agree. Yes, I don't agree. We need something that is a sound that is actual echo chamber, like that just starts echoing here. All right, let me answer the question. Or echo chamber. Wow. Echo chamber. Oh, in oh, without a costume. Let me Stand answer back. the question uh. that Greg Cody uh, asked. Wow. There is no circumstance under which anyone is telling me what to write, what I can or cannot write about. If you place this hypothetical in front of me with all of the variables for Greg Cody, where he can retire on that note and get the attention and the applause and the clicks that he wants from retiring on that note, mm -hmm. I would consider the grandstand play of how could I theatrically do this in the maximum look at me fashion of principled guy who goes out on the wrong side of the popular issue of the day by fighting for that penalty is too harsh. I would do uh, something similar to what it is that Greg Cody is doing uh, because it's a hell of a dismount and it's kind of amazing that I could file it under the principle of no one tells me what to write but you would do it in costume yeah. as pat the <laughs> grandest of the costumes what kind of costume would i wear i'm thinking some sort of uh, george washington on the river what's your, your what's your hierarchy of costumes where you're like that's too much i Complete need that boat. for like a really big moment you would build the boat into your costume <laughs> I don't have. I just. It, it would just like be, there's like, some. Like sometimes you see like you're going shopping or whatever, and you're like, you know what? That's nice, but like this isn't the right occasion for that. That I need to do like a wedding or like you're looking at like oh when you're younger like or, oh I'll wear that to prom. Or like, a new what Supreme is Court your justice. costume that's out that you're like I can't wear that Lincoln. for a Wednesday on the show, <laughs> but I can for this giant moment in my life. <laughs> Jimmy Carter. 
uh, Greg Cody is writing me a note for some reason instead mm-hmm. of speaking into a microphone saying you evaded answering. Yes, you did. You did not answer my question. How did I not? It's, what is the question? Let's do it he right now. He said me maximum, essentially. He let's did. let's do let's Why'd do, you write that down? Let's right. do, let's do <laughs> the, just let's, evaded my question. I, I didn't too. know whether he wanted me to belabor it. Uh, okay, let me ask you this as specifically as as I can. Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Ooh. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. No, Harrison that's Butker. fair. You no, told him that. Harrison, Harrison Butker, me. yes or no? Yes or no. Commissioner, the, the, yes or no. The Indianapolis Star is justified barring Greg Doyle from any future oh, yeah. columns no, about they, they are justified. Clark. They are justified with that, just as ESPN would be justified in banning Patrick Beverly like they did, because all of these entities can make their own rules for what the punishments is uh, punishments are. I thought your question is, what would I do if the newspaper did that to me? I that's, that's my what, question. I thought that's what your question was. Okay, so was. you think Greg Doyle deserves to be banned from ever writing about Caitlin Clark? I th- but Greg Doyle, again, is a recidivist. It's not just... Just this one thing with okay. a body of work and apology and and everything else. Like, do what would I, you do? What would you do if, if the same thing happened to you? What would you do if the Miami Herald said that I could not write something? What I would do is come on this program in a George Washington costume that had a <laughs> boat attached to it, and I would absolutely lean into, yeah, I know I'm wrong. But I'm going to go out as if I'm fighting for the principled right of free speech here. <laughs>